are not here to discuss politics. We are not here to discuss politics. Hello, no, sir. No, 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 what are you doing here? Me? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. This is my land. It's true. This is my land. This is my land, man. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Now, listen. Now, listen. Now, we started racist remarks. Yes, yes. How come there is any refugees when Syria and everything happened? All of them came to Europe. Why? Why did Yeah, why did I do that? Why didn't they go to the Islamic world? So you can go what happened in Nigeria last Sunday. The Mirza Glam going to hide the toilet. You are going to hide it. Christians were slaughtered and kidnapped in a church in Nigeria. Mirza Glam is a Really? For the blood and the testimony of the of the family members who are left from those who have died is not evidence. That, that's book. This man is denying what happened in Nigeria last Sunday on Pentecost when 50. Oh, it's on the news. You are denying the news. You are denying Allah. No. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Then, uh, no, listen. Yes, Allah. No, I don't believe in Allah. I believe in the true God. The true God. Listen, because he didn't see it. Allah is an idol in the Quran. In Nigeria, yeah. happened. literally last week, I was on the news and you haven't seen it. Do you know the Allah is an idol in the Quran. Idol in the Quran. Allah is an idol in the Quran. It's proven. It's proven through the Quran and Hadith. Allah, Allah is an idol. You worship what cows, yeah? You worship cows. No, 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 no. Talk about that. Talk about the camel you're in. If Allah does not have a spirit, then Allah cannot move. Because spirit is the power. But Allah is the devil. And Allah is the. Did you get your land from the white people? Did you get your land from You have a lot of problems with white people. And you have a lot of problems with Hindus. This wasn't white, bro. Yeah. Who said killed you? It wasn't white. Who said you? Who said you? Jesus doesn't exist. Jesus. Right, doesn't exist. No. What, and Isa does? Isa, yes, exists. Did, did Isa die on the cross? No, he did not die on the cross. So what happened? Yes. He was raised. Right, so Allah raised him up. And Allah put someone else's likeness on the cross. Judas. Who was that person? Judas. Who was that person? Judas. Who was it? Judas. Some people say Judas, but Ibn Kathir says it was a it was a member of Jesus' disciples. No, 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 slavery has been around for many millennia. Shall I bring an African guy now? How many Muslims have taken slaves from Africa? When is Saudi Arabia banned slavery? When is Saudi Arabia banned slavery? Yeah? Saudi Arabia, what's Saudi Arabia? What's Saudi Arabia? From just a few decades. No, it was banned in like 1960s or 1970s. You're talking about a matter of decades. He has to find the right African person. Your grandfather, your grandfather, 
took her money. And she's like, this man. What foolishness is that? Listen, I'm not going to Can I defend your religion? You've lost your mind. Mohammed had black slaves. And he said that they look like raisin heads. Sorry, and how dare you? Right? The Babylonian Arabian stole this land. They took your land. They were before the white man sold them. That's how the rewind of it. He's trying to blame McDonald's. <laughs> when his own religion permits slavery. Yes, yes. You Babylonian started the slave trade, right? The transatlantic slave trade. That's right. Why you Why you denying slavery by the white people? The people. She's denying slavery to the black people. No one is denying that. What about your massacres against black people? We are children of the about And you think everybody from But they killed you. They took your land. They still do. They gave you a book. In They took your land and they gave you your Quran affirms the validity of that book. You understand that? When did they change it? Tell me when they changed it. The Bible is that Ten Commandments, yes? A part no, of it? No, there's 644. But you have to follow the Jewish no, rules also. No, there's 644 Did Muhammad confirm the Injil and the Torah? Torah, right. But not the one you got in your house. Did he confirm the one they had at the day? That's a New Testament. No, it's been changed. Okay, so Muhammad confirmed a changed book. Muhammad confirmed a changed book. So he took the corrupted Injil and the corrupted Torah and said that is correct. No, no, no. Why? It didn't. So it wasn't corrupted at that time. He said your book is corrupted. And then he confirmed it. Yeah, it's your book is corrupted. <laughs> and then he confirms it. <laughs> what a joke, what a joke. What an absolute joke. Why do the heathens rage and imagine a vain thing, right? Know that the most I will bust their jaws and shatter their teeth for they come and take counsel against the Lord anointed. Right? The wise does not argue with a fool. Thank you. Your Quran affirms the validity of the Injil and the Torah that came before it. So exactly when was it corrupted? A minute ago we were talking about white yep. people. Now we're talking the about this. Why when are you you to this. We've already talked about that for the last half an hour. Let's talk about this. Do you deny it? Yes. Let's, because I don't, the Babylonians, Arabians started the trend. I want to talk about the Injil and the Torah. Right? Yes. 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 The Babylonian Arabians. You, you Notice he won't talk about the Injil and the Torah because he knows he hasn't got an argument. Because his Quran confirms the Torah and the Injil, and yet in the very next breath he says it's corrupted. So Muhammad confirmed a corrupted book. Not to be followed. Not to be followed. Not to be followed. Did he not pick it up and he say he could? He confirms. Did he not say by na day he? We don't read corrupted books. Did Muhammad confirm the Injil and the Torah? We're not allowed to read corrupted books. Did Muhammad confirm the Torah and the Injil? Answer. Answer the question. Did Muhammad confirm the Injil and the Torah? Did he? Did he confirm the corrupted one? Yes, I did. I, I said yes. Muhammad has confirmed the corrupted Torah in the Injil. Congratulations. Muhammad preached a false gospel according to you. Thank you for saying it. You've just admitted that Islam is a false religion. You just said that Muhammad confirmed a corrupted Torah and in jail. No, no. The Prophet said that right? you, you people right? changed the book. Did he confirm a Torah and in jail? Can't answer the question. Can't answer the question. Because, because My friends, you need to go learn about your religion. Because no, your religion no, 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 lies to you. You don't know about your religion. I asked you a basic question and you don't know the answer. Notice you're pivoting from the question because you cannot answer the question. Why can you not answer the question? Forget that question. Just say, I don't know. I don't know. I need to look into it. Say that. I'm not going to look into it. I know what it you is. don't. But well, you can't give an answer there. Give me a straightforward answer. How many versions of Bible? Notice he has to pivot. He has to change the question. He doesn't have an answer. Are we going? 
If you don't want to read I'm going to think that you've, you've lost that argument. You've lost that argument. Listen, how many Bibles you got? How many versions of Bibles you got? Nice. Go on then, what's your, what's your, what's your argument? 73. How many Qurans are there? One! One Quran! The most Quran! The Gauri Quran! The Hafs Quran! There are many Qurans! According to scholars, there's now 37 different Qurans! What? Do you affirm all of the different Qurans? What about the Quran in Surah 3, Ayah 146, where there was a difference in different Qurans? about the word Maliki, whether it means owner or king. That is an example of a contradiction and a difference in your Qur'ans. Answer for it. Oh, it's not true. This is an example of a Muslim that needs to look into his religion. Ah, can I not understand it if I don't speak Arabic? What if I reference Arabic scholars who are Muslim? Is that good enough? Dr. Yasser Qadi has been honest and confirmed that there are indeed different Qur'ans. Dr. Shabir Ali has confirmed that there are indeed different Qur'ans. And among the documents, uh, some were Qur'anic copies. And there was one of particular interest that came to be widely referred to now as the Sana'a Palimpsest. It's an erased manuscript. Uh, manu so, so somebody uh, had a manuscript, they, they wrote on it, then erased it and wrote something else over it. The lower text uh, shows uh, some significant variations. No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Even when I give scholars, you won't agree with it. These are your scholars, not mine. Who is that scholar you're talking about? Dr. Shabir Ali, Dr. Yasser Qadi. Scholars who know Arabic, scholars who know English, who translate this Quran. Even when I talk on what you want to talk about, you still can't give an answer, my friend. This is a sign that you need to leave your religion. But you can't, fake. you told me that Muhammad confirms that corrupted religion according to you. When was it corrupted? When was it corrupted? Uh, Babylonian time. <laughs> Before Muhammad. So Muhammad came and confirmed the corrupted Israel and Jor. Muhammad didn't know what he was talking about. Oh, terrible, terrible. You need to, you need to live your religion. You need to follow the true religion. The religion Islam, of Jesus Islam Christ. The, true the way, truth, and life. Where is Allah? You Where is Allah? Where is Allah? Allah is up in... Uh, is he above his arsh? Is he above his arsh? I thought I'll Allah descends to the lowest heaven. I will not talk to ignorant people saying... My friend, I think you're ignorant. No, this is how I don't think you say. know. It's Haram. No, 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 it's not. It's not. It's not. Does Allah no descend to the lowest heaven to hear the prayers you've of the you've believers? Got no manners. We're not. <laughs> you got no manners, man. I'm saying not. about Allah like this. Yeah? I'm asking basic questions about no, your religion. This is, this is the Why can you not answer? It? But you've told me you know your religion. No, it's the ad hominem. No, it's that he has to insult me because he doesn't have anything left. Brothers and sisters, come to Jesus Christ. He is the way to eternal life, my friend. He doesn't want to, but he has no answer. Jesus is a prophet. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. You don't like it. Jesus is a prophet. Where in the Quran does Jesus say he is a prophet in his own words? What, show me in the Quran in his own words. In his own words, show me. Why do I need to speak Arabic? It's been translated into English. Show me in the Quran, any Quran, where Jesus himself says he is a prophet in his own words. Show me. Show me. I don't have the book with me. Thanks. Alright, anyone? Anyone want to help him? Anyone want to help him? Okay. Where in the Quran Jesus says he is a prophet in his own words? You prove to me, Jesus. Yeah. He's not a prophet. I do believe Jesus is a prophet. That's basic Christianity. So I also believe he Jesus is God. Is the son of God and he's God. Because he is part of the triune God. No. We believe this because in John chapter 20 verse 28, Thomas calls Jesus my Lord and my God. There you are in scripture, my friends. Simple. So I have to... Tactical retreat. <laughs> tactical retreat. I think he sums it up pretty well there. A tactical retreat. Well, I hope you reconsider your religion, my friends. I wish you all the best. Jesus loves you. Oh, what was that about? So I was having a chat with a Muslim who was, who was heckling a, a Christian brother. And he was trying to say that white people are responsible for slavery, that Islam has never had anything to do with slavery. That's not true. Islam has a long history of enslaving people from East Africa. They have taken slaves, they have made them eat, uh, eunuchs, they have castrated them and they have had them as slaves. Saudi Arabia only a few decades ago condemned slavery. This is a serious problem in Islam. Why, did that, why is that the case? Why is Islam so hesitant? Why is the Middle East so hesitant to condemn slavery? It's because in Islam, the, their prophet, their so-called prophet Muhammad, 
he used to practice slavery. He used to have black slaves according to authentic Islamic hadith. And he also said that black people were like raisin heads. Is that not a massive insult to people of today? Clearly it's a massive insult today. I call on anyone watching, study into this, study into Islam and the Hadith. It is a false religion and embrace Jesus Christ, the way, the truth and the life and the one true religion. Have a lovely day. God bless. Thank you very much. Subscribe to Street, Street Mike. Subscribe to Street Mike. It's a great channel. I love the work this man is doing. It's great stuff. Take care. Hello, hi, hello, hey Baska, hey Baska, had a chat with a Muslim, he was intent on propagating propaganda where he says that white people are responsible and therefore Christianity, because he conflates the two, are responsible for slavery, that is not the case, Christianity has a long history, look at people like William Wilberforce, look at people who are associated with him in this country from Hull, who campaigned as politicians for the ending of slavery. Christianity has a long history of opposing slavery. Islam, on the other hand, Islam supported slavery. Why? Because in their hadiths, because in their sunnah, because the Muhammad himself, he had slaves. He had black slaves and he traded in them. This is an abomination, truly horribleness. Do not follow Muhammad. Do not follow Muhammad. Brother, I call you to something better. I call you to Jesus Christ, the man who owned no slaves. The man who is better in every way. The one who is the way, the truth and the life. I call everyone unto him. Don't listen to the Muslims when they give out this nonsense about how white people in there for Christians. They're all one and the same. Christianity has a long history of being multivational. Look at St. Augustine. He came from North Africa. He would have been a, a dark colored man. We treat him as an early church father. Right. We look at people like Ignatius from Antioch. We look at people who would have been from the Middle East. There is a long history of people from different races, from different cultures of the world being Christians. From the Christ. From the Christ. Amen.